It's recording. The red, and it says right error again. The red light is on. But the red light is on again. That's, I hope, well. Why did it say right error? I don't know. <laughs> it's still recording. Maybe the right nut's bigger than the left. <laughs> okay. okay. Start the intro, man. Hey, there, there, okay. Here we go. okay, man. You ready? Yes, sir. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 26, Two Bears, Two Mics. It's Nate. That's me. Yes, that is You're Miller. It's, it's, you always interrupt my introduction. You let me do that. It's, <laughs> it's Miller. Game. Holla at your boys. Yeah. Still Let's re- get into it. Still recording. The red light's still on. It's still on. Right okay. Now. We're okay right now. Open them up, baby. Sunday fun day here Sunday we go. Sunday fun day. It'd be a lot. Oh my god. Oh my you, goodness. You, you shook. Why do you do that? You shake mine before I get it. <sighs> yes, like I did on purpose. I think you did. No. I think you did. Why would I do it on purpose? And I guess it's your stuff. You wouldn't want to get all fucked up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> if your house, I would shake it up all time, all day long. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> here we are with these pillows again. Oh, we'll get rid of them. God, yeah, give me this. Oh. Get rid of this Raven shit. Dude. No, 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 no. But anyway, how you, you didn't doing? even go there. My brothers did. Which ones? Both. They both went to Grambling State. Yeah. Hmm. That's the only reason why I. Had I it. feel like you just bought that shirt. Like two years ago. <laughs> they didn't give you a shirt when you were there. No. Why? Because they're not like that. No, they're not. They're self-absorbed with themselves. They're young though. Not that young. No, they're both in their thirties. Late thirties. Oh, oh shit! Almost forty. I thought the youngest one was like in his 20s still. No, the youngest one's like 36. Oh. Well, shit. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't vibing right now. Why? You got family issues? Oh, everybody has family issues. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it is. You know, I'm just saying. Everybody has family issues. It's what, uh, just a matter, what, of, a matter of the degree. Without giving too of, much away, what's the problem now? Is this another? Is this another Jackson well, it thing? Was, it was, was a Jackson thing no, it, before? It's still that same thing, and we just haven't... haven't, haven't uh, it's it's been like shaky waters, and we haven't communicated a lot since then. Mm. And so, I don't know how to move forward. I still feel a little, but I just need. I just need. I mean, I told him it's already. So. Time heals everything. I know. That's what they say. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. He's young. He doesn't have kids, though. He doesn't know. No, you. I don't. I never had kids, but I knew there's certain things you just don't say or do. Remind me. What did he say? Well, he. Do you want to say it? Well, it was it was about Jackson's first live Baltimore game. And he just like blew it off like oh, oh yeah that's right like I know that was a compliment compliment of worthy to a, to a, to acknowledge or some shit like that I think you're being a little sensitive well <laughs> but he's been making comments like this periodically maybe he's upset that you're a great father and he's jealous well and he's projecting I don't know. you're a good dad I'll, dads don't get to know that that's true because we're. We our job is hard. Yeah, our job. We don't our get wives to, we, don't tell us that. No, no, no. I tell my wife all the time. Well, I grab Jamie, her, Jamie tells me. I grab her on the butt and I say, you're oh, yeah. the best mom. Yeah, yeah. So and do I. I grab her butt. I, I, I grab like a yeah. big hand. Yeah, I do, I do grab her butt too. I grab both cheeks though. Both at the yeah. same time. My girl. You ready, you ready to get into it? Did you go home last night and uh No, she was, out? At, she was passed out. Oh. Did you just lay on top of her anyway? I tried. <laughs> I, I tried did but, you really? No, I didn't. Well, I I touched her and seen. But yeah? Yeah, my boy. I knew you'd get some. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Did you ever? <laughs> Do that one eyebrow thing. Not to me, to them. <laughs> it hides in my hat. Nobody can see it. Uh, yeah. No eyebrows. Yeah, we no don't, eyebrows we don't know. It's still recording, which makes me excited. Okay, we're good. Let's get into it. Did you get my stuff? I got your stuff. Hold on. What church are you going to? It's in Glendale, downtown Glendale, Grace Lutheran. I figured you had to go to CCB because your kid plays for them now. No, no, no. no, no. Is that a rule? Do you no. have to do that? No. You sure? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Hey. What? Why aren't you going to spring training today? Because you don't. I'll drive you. Get in the car with me. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't no. do that. It's not about that. It's just, 
Um, you don't need a lazy day. It's with, Sunday fun day, and we're already drinking. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> we, <would, laughs> we would talk about this off the air. Who doesn't want to go spring training? No, no, we talk about it off, off the air. Why? Because it's... Is it binge watch fire cop show again today? No, it's not. You're a liar. No, it's not. What happened yesterday? You said it four times yesterday, and we couldn't decide which one we we're going to. I know, I know. I'll, I'll explain to you. After Listen, that. Barry White. <laughs> you're like you're you're like uh, breathy today in the in the microphone. Like I don't know, it just seems like it. Breathy? Yeah, like a little bit. Like it's all good, baby. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like right now. The Lord spoke to me this morning. Did he? Yeah. Actually. What did he say? What was he, he wearing today? What was he wearing today? Yeah. He, he was wearing a black robe with purple purple little... That's made up. No, he was. What a pastor was. <laughs> was he really? Yeah. Is he black or white guy? White guy. Oh. I'm one of the few black guys there. You like that, though? No, I don't. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I just, sometimes I feel like... Hmm. That was that conversation uh, uh, yesterday. Were you part of that when we had um, when uh, Nora and Ryan were over there, and we were talking about like how people grew up like in our like our generation right now? No, I, didn't, I wasn't there for that. Oh, would, she was showing have, a video, comments. showing a video like you might have because you, you grew up different, sort of. But you grew up in Texas though, ish. Well, in New York too. Yeah. Go ahead, continue. I was just gonna say like it didn't matter to us what color your skin was. Like it's just whatever. Right. Nobody had that problem. They had the problem before us. No, no, I had the problem. And now they have the problem now. I had the problem. Do you think it's a bigger problem now than it ever was? I think it's only because of social media. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the only reason why. But, but it's are, always been around. It's just never been. When we were kids, it didn't, it didn't matter. It was always around. To me, around. though, it didn't. It was always around. It was just never publicized like it is now. No, but I mean, like, when I grew I'm telling you, like, when I grew up, like, it, it didn't matter. Your friends were your friends. It didn't matter what color, read, creed, whatever, I think it, religion. Also, I think none of that the, mattered. I think that also depends on where you grew up. No, I, and I, that's where I figured you would come in. You're like, well, I grew up in New York. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's way different. But it's not like you grew up in Jamaica, Queens. I was near it. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, so it's, hey. it's, it's different. <laughs> not to switch gears totally right now. My mind is blown right now with that whole 50 Cent and Mike Tyson thing. Isn't that crazy? I did not even connect the dots. I didn't even think about it. And then he bought the house. I was like, oh, yeah. well, he got money and Mike needed to sell the house. No. He bought his house on purpose. Purpose. That's crazy. And Mike's, Mike's allegedly, you gotta say it together. Yeah, allegedly, allegedly. he he got. <laughs> I'm stealing that from another pod. Don't, we shouldn't do that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but um, uh, Mike Tyson's ha- or uh, Mike Tyson put the hit out on him. Yeah, that's crazy. Allegedly, that's crazy. That like, but how much older is Tyson to? It gotta be ten years at least, right? Because because Fifty Ty- Cent had a fortieth birthday not that long ago. Not fortieth. Was it fortieth? No, because Eminem's not even fifty yet. He's like forty-eight, and they're and they're all close in age. Yeah, I thought fifty was closer to my age. And Mike Tyson's almost is sixty-two. Almost, oh, yeah. Is he sixty-one? Sixty-two? I think he's above sixty. Hey, one of our one hundred subscribers. I'm just kidding. We don't have that many yet. Oh, soon. We should do a giveaway. We should get a giveaway. Uh, a hoodie giveaway. A hoodie with our logo on it. Uh, and a hundred subs. We should get posts on that shit though. Like, yeah. yeah, I got some really good insights. Why didn't you use the blue blue one today? What do you mean blue one? The blue tag logo. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you, when we're going to try with the thumbnail. Yeah, use that one to see how that goes. What did you think of the thumbnail for the clip? I like all the clips. We're do the clips, though. I like all the clips. I liked it because it made it look like, what did you say? Yeah. And, it's, I, and, and, I and look, now, now you got to go to the pod and listen to it. Yeah, but that's that's what Cam was telling me. He's like, you do. Th- we got to get on Facebook, though. He told he said, dude, that's. I don't what, have Facebook. I, I, I have it. I'm not on it. Does we'll that make sense? It. I guess we got to get on it. No, we. I don't want. You got to do it, too. I don't have Facebook. You're lucky. I know. But you should have one. Why? So you can at least look at our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm saying. It's like we should, if we're going to put it out, then we should do it. Now yeah, we're doing sure. video. We're doing everything else. Yeah. You don't think so? No, yeah. I do agree. We wanna, and, and one we time, want to be monetized, And one time right? we should just do a live live thing, like a, like on TikTok Live or Instagram Live or Facebook Live. Just do it live. But that's what I'm saying. Like we should, yeah. Yeah. And watch how many people don't watch us. Right. Cam or don't, to, or don't you know, chime Cam in. Cam told me because I was like, I don't want people telling me. I don't want people calling me and asking me or like texting me because Facebook is full of like people you grew up with, they're your family and all that stuff. I just feel weird about that. What's well, going to happen? I know. And then Cam goes, your biggest haters are your family. And I'm like, yeah. what? He goes, oh, I got friends that, I have friends that left because Cam's got a hundred plus thousand subs now. He's on his way to like 150. Hell yeah. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. So 
I mean, I was sitting there. I'm like, we, he goes, you, once you figure it out, you can do it. I'll help you. I can, you know, he's giving me some insights and stuff. And I was like, oh. he's like, you got to get on Facebook because now they have ad revenue. They have revenue share. I'm like, that's what YouTube does. Right. That's how people get paid. Right. I was like, oh, shit. I wasn't ready. Because remember we were talking about at 100, yeah. we're going to put it out there for everybody. Right. The word's out a little bit because people are texting me now. Like, why? Are, remember I told you the yes. story of my boy, yeah. Eric? Yep. Shout out my yep. boy, Eric. Yep. He was, <laughs> he texted me. He goes, hey, man, I saw you on the internet. And I'm like, where? Yeah. Because you were everywhere, right? Right. Everywhere but Facebook. And he goes, <laughs> he says, hey, I'm on TikTok looking at titties and I see your stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like a uh, change. Uh, all of a sudden, but like, you know, you're looking yeah. at all these, these hoes on TikTok. <laughs> Dude, there's so many girls. I know. And they're all making money. They, are making they should money. be. They should. Good for Sex them. sells, right? It does. Anyway, you, shout you, out Eric. You know, it does not sell. Grandma State t-shirts? No. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what does not sell? That Yankees hat? I don't know. What are you going with this? Go ahead. Flashing your damn gun in the club on, on Instagram Oh, my Live. God, dude. See, this is how you... This is, we're bullshit. And then you're just like, let's get into it. You just turned it in. Yeah. That's a good move. I like, like that. like that. that S- hey, exactly. John Morant, what are we doing? What are we doing, bud? I don't you're get 23 it. You're 23-year-old. Now, I don't agree with this statement, but mm. some people calling you a superstar. You're not a superstar yet. You're yeah. on, you're yes, on your is. way. He's a superstar. No, he's not. He's not all NBA. We yet. argued this already. He's not all NBA. Okay. So for, your, not, for your unmatched criteria. Well, he's not. He's not like superstar. four people that, that are superstars in your mind. <laughs> well, yeah. That term is and used four loosely. of them are retired. <laughs> <laughs> no, one's about to. Um, anyway, go. I was no, go. so I, I mean, what are you doing? I don't. You're throwing your career away. He's in a he's in a nightclub with a gun. You're what gonna, are you doing? How do you even get the gun gun in the nightclub? Well, there's. They, well, I know, can, but you, that's, that's they a, get cocaine in there. They get drugs. I they know. all sorts of shit in there. You they just, gonna, they're just pumped because that night that nightclub says John Morant's going to be here tonight. Right. Everyone goes to the club because they want to see him. He is going to lose his endorsements, his money, his sponsorship. He just just got a Nike deal just. with his own shoe, with his own label shoe, and and it's coming out. Is that you or me? That's, that's me. I was like, mine's on not do not disturb. That's my mom. Oh, yeah. Can we pause? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. It's something like right problem. Yeah, right error. But then it keeps recording. Anyway, Jean yeah, Morant, John Morant, man. What are we doing? I don't know, man. He's 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 messing up his whole future right now. Nike don't play games like that. And he's twenty cut- twenty three years old. He's he's on his way to to su- superstardom. He's only twenty three. Land frame. My yeah. frame. Like, I think this has got the whole couch. I love the um, the TikTok thing with uh, Eminem Eight Mile rapping about. Oh, rapping about <laughs> this guy's a gangster. <laughs> Clarence's parents Clarence had a real good, good marriage. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dude, that shit's dope. That's that was funny. a cool one, man. Like, just be who you are, man. Like, that's not who he is. That's not who he is. I guarantee his dad was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. If I'm his dad, even if he wasn't doing that, then I'd be on him. Do you think the um, Memphis? Suspending him two games was to get ahead of the situation yep. before the NBA got it. Yeah. Yep. Which was, I, I applaud them for that. Though. And they said, you can't come to the facility. No, for two days. I, I applaud them. That's two games. I'm sure it's for the week. Yeah, I'm sure it's for the week. You need to sit out and you need to understand that you don't have a job for this week. Right. What are you going to do? Right. I, I I applaud Memphis Grizzly for that. I think that was a good move. That was, that was ex- a very good move. That was an excellent move. I think the thing with Jaws, because he's still young. But, they, but okay, they has to, at, someone has to tell him, like, you're under the microscope, dude. But at what point are you not young anymore? Nah, I don't know. Maturity level is still at 23. It's not like you're just all of a sudden, a, you know. No, no, I, I totally agree. You but, get a young man with fame but, like that and money? But then, but then here's where I, I push back on this. LeBron James was 23, and he didn't have this kind of shit. No. You know what I'm saying? So like, like, but he had good people around him, I think. And his, you, his well, mom was with him at all times. Josh's dad's always there. You think that, in, according to him. I don't know anything about but according his, to his, his dad, Usher. According, <laughs> that's, true. <laughs> that's true. But according to his upbringing in the videos, he seems to have a good, nice life, at least. Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, no, you're if, right. if anybody, LeBron would have had a worse, had a worse upbringing, just him and his mom's and, and struggling, and you would think he would turn to that more. But You'd think. You know, but he did not. Like, so... Who's in your corner? Who's coaching you? Who's who's? Yeah, who's you, yeah? You know, he's got to find better people around him. His dad's not the one helping him, though, right? Co- correct. That's kind of scary. It is very scary. But also, why are you in the club with a gun? What are we doing? Even Carmelo, look at Carmelo. I mean, he came out like yeah. when you're. I mean, but he didn't have any of these hey, issues. Wait, are you trying to be like Plaxico Burris right now? Like, what are we doing? Seriously, don't shoot yourself in the leg now. That, that's what I'm saying. Hey, Plaxico, put the gun away. <sighs> Remember that shit? Oh my god, <laughs> that's pretty much the demise of him. Oh my gosh, Plaxico was a good player. He was. 
He won a game win Super Bowl uh, touchdown. Yes, he did. I can't believe they left him in the back of the end zone that wide. wide. Dude, he was open. walking backwards with the ball. Wide open. I'm like, what the fuck? Wide open. Won some money. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Right. We had, um, speaking of players in the NFL, yeah. we had um, these gremlins. My house was peppered with gremlins yesterday. Oh, kids. All them kids. Yeah. Shout out Cameron for his ninth birthday party. Ninth birthday party, Nine, baby. baby. I hope those, hope those outfits fit and stuff. I want those shorts. That's cool. Right? Those are awesome. Right? Hey, I saw them. I was like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like underwear for me, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, those are, those are awesome. You're right? The shoes. Where'd you get the shoes? Because this is weird. The way they are. So they're low top, all white. I mean, icy white. Right. They're not Jordan 1s. No. They're not Air Force 1s. They're not Dunks. Can I tell you? Can I what tell you, the hell are those? Can I tell you a, a funny story about that? Please do. I was in the Air Force 1 Wait. aisle, and I thought that's what I grabbed. Oh, no way. Yes, way. <laughs> I, seriously, I, it was in the Air Force 1 pile. Yeah. Because it was the Air Force 1s over here, and there's a, and there's a black shoe. And he, does have, he does have uh, some colorway of Air Force 1s. It was Air Force 1s, black shoe, and then those shoes. But I was in the Air Force 1 aisle. And I saw a saw size five. I grabbed it. Didn't even open it. Just in in because you knew what you wanted, but you're in a hurry. And I was in a hurry because that's what dads do. Seriously, hurry up! I'm gonna get out of here. And so then when I, when I get home, you know, I'm, I'm opening it up, make sure everything's good. What the? F- now oh. you now you're running it. That's now, what it is. But now it looks nice. I mean, they look good though. No, I mean, you no, know. it's a it's a good looking shoe. So I'm but like, it's like, what is it? Exactly. I don't. It kind I, of it's the shoe that's over here. I was text. I was talking to Megan. I go, look at this stupid thing. What is this? But it's so different. Right. Yeah, it looks like it's classic with every. Oh, it's, just, it ha- it's like a mixture of Air Force One and Jordan Lowe's ones, right? All in one shoe. And then it has like the bottom of like the Jordan one, but also the Air Force one. Like Correct. the sole looks like that. I'm like, right. that is. What the hell? What? So I'm like, it actually, doesn't look that bad. It's like I didn't, but no, that, that, that was, was a great gift. That, that, was, that wasn't what I that was initially, initially pulled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone put it back, and I just grabbed it and then walked out. I've done that. It was an outlet. Yeah. Oh, I thought Deanna got them for you. No, it was the outlet. That's good though. I got all that outlet, outlet shopping, dude. Oh yeah, it's the best. Yeah, especially for kids. Awesome. Cameron was wearing those uh, Halloween dunks to the uh, KTR. Yeah, kids that rip. Yep. <laughs> I did not get that. Oh, oh. I know we were just talking sports. And we we're talking these kids. I'm telling you, if I find that dad <laughs> of that kid, I was so mad. This kid's like jumping on kids, right? He's jumping on top of them when he's dunking the basketball, yeah. and then he was kicking them. Like how old is this kid, him. though? Seriously, he's 12, 13. easy. Maybe even maybe even fourteen. He's kicking little kids. There's a huge difference between twelve. Yeah, and eight. yeah, a lot. No, hey, yeah. I was already at, at the top level watching, you know, because it's dodgeball and basketball together. I'm at the top level, and I see it. I see it once because he grabs Cameron and like like puts him in a chokehold like this. You know what I mean? Like what the hell? It's brief, but he does it. And I was like, hey! Like, parents, everyone yeah. looked up. You know, dad, dad hey. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, the, oh, yeah. The one where someone's in trouble. Oh, yeah. That kid didn't look up at me. Cameron knew. He goes, you know, like, even Luke, everybody stopped. It kind of chilled out for a minute. And then I saw Luke come over, and I saw Grayson get hit, and then Cameron. And then I saw him chasing Cameron and shove him into the wall. That's, oh. when, I bo- that's when I yelled again, and then I went downstairs. What? Texas, Texas men's men's basketball coach Mark Adams. Racially insensitive comment. I know. White guys in Texas. It's a problem. Phone, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I was going to go kick this kid's ass. I would have. Hey, we, we let him know. Right. I went to go try to find the kid's parents. Like, uh-huh. I was mad. Because no, no one hits my number one. No. You know what I mean? Right. And then I was, I was, I was hot. So I told Cameron... Like, just go play somewhere else for now. <clears throat> and then that kid got talking to. He got to go back in there, I saw, but he was much chiller after that. Mm. I was, was Ryan. Was his dad talking? I had to call him Ryan down a little bit, like, chill out, dude. Was, I got it. Was his dad talking to him? Who talked to him? Parents weren't there. He was there with a group. Oh. Uh, or rode his bike there. I don't know. Right. He was actually 12 or 13, so. Yeah, that's true. I was mad, though. But it was the facility nice, though, right? So, John Morant was my kid. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm yelling, hey! What are we doing? <laughs> hey, I'm suspending him by myself. Oh, my God. You're grounded. Hey, he's grounded. I'm taking all his social media away. I'm taking his phone, his tablet. His jewelry. I'm taking, yeah. Whatever he loves, I'm taking it away. Taking it away. That you have to learn. You have to learn. Moral of the story is moral. Moral? Moral? Moral. Moral. What are you drinking? 
Gumbaroo. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1030. We're drinking. Because it's Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. This is the only fun part, though, to be honest. I woke up. It was 8, and I go, it's not time yet, but I want to do it. It's yeah, not time yet, but I want to do it. Not time yet. I love this podcast. Yeah, I love it, too. Do you? Yeah, man. I don't think you do. I do. I want to do three days a week. You don't. No. You don't even want to do that. I can't do three. Now, I thought about this. This is no, no, well, no maybe. Sh- this is no shit. I'm at Sonoran Heights, right over here, right or over there. Anyway, yeah, right. For two hours, I get my kid there at five o'clock, five ish, and they start running. There's people, there's parents there, young know, Grayson's parents, everybody's there. I can run right over here, and we can do an hour, and then I can go back. Not on Monday, not on Wednesday, but on Monday, yeah, I can. On Monday, yeah. But not on Wednesday. Even well, Friday night you have games, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wednesday I have practice. Friday. But night I'm night saying games. like, I have the ability to be close here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can play with it. If we're gonna do it, we gotta do it. We I would like two days a week at least. We can play with it. That's Cause that'd sure. be fun, right? That'd be fun. Because it's gonna at one point you just I don't know. This yeah. is great. This is what I love. Well, in the, during the summer, I mean, we can do. I mean, we're gonna have a lot more flexibility in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah, because one of us doesn't have a job during the summer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you do, baby. You do what you do. <laughs> so the state of the NBA, though, um, it's good. Is it good? Guess who's playing t- in one hour? But is it good though? With the whole job, the whole load management. The oh, whole so situation? back to the job thing, real quick. So this thing happens after an article came out from the Washington Journal, whatever, one of those stupid outlets that said he had a problem with a 17-year-old kid and flashed a gun at him right, in a pickup game, right, and right. then he had an issue with a security guard right. the year before. That. I heard about that. And like this guy's a troublemaker. You're like, I mean, it's a hit piece to be honest. But right. at the same time, there's probably some truth to some of this. There's patterns. But that's that's what I'm saying. So it's like, oh, all right, dude. I think what you, going back to what your point was, the Grizzlies saying, hey, look, we're putting you away for a week. Yeah, you can't come here. Don't talk to us. It's this is what it is. Right. You can't go on the road with us. Wherever they're going, who knows? No. Like it's just what it is, guys. I, I mean, seriously. But I applaud them for taking that step I ahead so, of the head of the situation. Like many organizational people will always wait and see how it plays out. Let the NBA deal with it. Yeah, I know. Not many organizations will come straight forward and say, you know what? No, we're stopping the bus stops with us. We are a high class organization or looked at that way. This is not acceptable. No, it's, I'm sure they got a hold of that article and were like, they probably pulled me off. like, what are you doing? And then that happened, I bet. No, like, right. What are, you, what? what right. are we doing? But the rest of the NBA it seems good. to be good. It seems to be good. Right. I mean, today we have Katie versus Kyrie. That's what I was just about to say. I, was I like, know. dude, in about an hour. So what, what, what you think? What you got? I think the Suns actually win that one. Yeah. On the road? Yeah. In Dallas? Yep. On a Sunday? On a Sunday fun day? Yeah, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wrong all weekend, shit. Yeah, I know. Fuck you, Pat. <sighs> Pat? <laughs> Fucking PD. Oh, good job, though. You called them all. You called them all. but you you did, I bet all. you didn't bet them all. No, you, didn't, you did not. I know he didn't. I don't know. Sometimes he pulls, I'm, up, I'm, I'm sometimes he pulls up a ticket and you're like, but I'm surprised he hasn't said anything yet, though. He's too wasted yesterday. Uh-huh. He's too faded. Well, but not today, though. He might. Uh, who knows? He already responded to something else, but he didn't. He was talking about birthday stuff. Yeah. For Kevin. Some, Shout out uh, Kevin for a birthday day. Birthday boy. K Smith. I'm, I'm K Smith number one. <laughs> yeah. He's been rocking that jersey since yeah, I Yeah, we got to get, get you a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, coming. it's <laughs> huge, too. Well, yeah. What size? You, you, ain't, you ain't triple X, buddy. You ain't Dude, right? X. It's a. It's like. <laughs> You may be. It a, covers like half of his hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> you may be extra large. That's all I'm Although, saying. Although, but it's funny because when I, because Super Bowl is like this thing we've done for like almost 20 years in a row. Like, I, I know, see him. That's all I see him as, though. Right. Sometimes I'm always like, that's, I'm a boy Kevin. Right. <laughs> It'd be weird if he wasn't wearing it. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But don't worry. We've got something coming for you. Um, that's awesome. Happy birthday, Kevin. Yes, yeah, sir. Happy birthday. So you think the NBA is good? So the NBA is good. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's some win streaks. One got broken yesterday. Sacramento lost. No. Um, Sacramento lost, though. Oh, did they? Yeah. And Milwaukee. And Milwaukee. So those two streaks ended. Ended. And then... Um, Knicks had a streak so today. So the Knicks have a streak. That's but, what I was going to talk but about. That could end today, though, because they're at Boston. The Knicks can beat Boston? They can, yes. But I'm just saying that that can end today. Yeah. Boston's won two in a row? I think so. Yeah, they're just starting a streak right yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. I, I like Boston. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I like all those. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown. I like all those guys, especially Jason Tatum. Huge Jason Tatum fan. But, Ever since he dunked on but the But you don't Brock, like his shoes, though. I wouldn't say I don't like them. I just don't know about them. You don't really. like the way they look? Yeah, I don't like them. It's okay, then. You don't like the shoes. It's not. Well, <laughs> you like Josh shoes better. Yeah, the simplicity of the Josh shoe. Yeah. I'm excited for the Lucas shoe that you I like, got. You like Zion? 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 Who the hell is Zion? I like the Zions. Yeah. And the Zeons. Yeah. I like both of them. <laughs> I haven't tried the Lucas yet, so you got to tell me how those are. They're light. 
That's all I can tell you is like, I, they, I don't know how performance wise though. They probably got air zoom in them or whatever. I think so. Everyone hides those pockets in there. So they do, huh? I'm taking air zooms. What are we got on today? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Jason Kidd. Jason, Jason Kidd. Air- zooms, right? Zoom Flight 95? I think so. That's a good era of shoes. Yeah, they had good, it right. Yeah, they had it right. They had everybody, too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was good times. Yeah. I remember so, when I first saw these, I was like, what? I think I was in eighth grade. Had to get them. 95. Was that also the year the, the gloves came out? Yeah. Well, uh, just after that. Okay. 97? I don't remember. Those gloves. Oh, I love the with gloves. The, <laughs> with the wrap, the, the nylon wrap, or do you have the leather one? I had all of them. I had oh. three pairs. Oh, shit. Yeah. I had the black. I didn't know you were a Gary Payton fan. The glove, baby. Yeah. The glove. The best Seattle. You ain't saying nothing about the Sonics right now. The best Seattle. You talk a lot of shit yesterday. The best Seattle Supersonics of all time. Not all time. Do you want to get into it? <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> you want to get into it? Yes. Can we finish the other NBA? We just did. <laughs> I want to talk about your Knicks. What about them? They're going to lose today. Oh, you're. S- dude. That's what? What, is that what you're going to do? Sit here and sulk and watch your stupid Knicks? They're at 4.30. And that's still what you're going to do is sit around and... Yesterday, we're watching U of A. And well, you're, that's yesterday. No, dumb. Dumb. Well, not gonna, I'm sorry. It was like watching the Ravens with you. Not as intense. First though. quarter. And you're <laughs> like, this is you and her in the Ravens game. First quarter. <laughs> it's 3 nothing. Ravens. He's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I look- and then, hey, you know it's bad when you do this. You go. <laughs> I do do that. Or oh, have my arms crossed. <laughs> yeah, or you're like this. And you're like, I do you want to be You go, I don't know. <laughs> you're like a little kid. <laughs> you're so stupid, dude. I'm like this for my game. I'm like, come on. I know. You all. You all. What are we doing? <laughs> That's all I say to my whole game. Fuck. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll go get something out of the fridge or whatever, and I'll be like, God, you go over paint, baby. <laughs> That's me just screaming at him for no yeah. reason, not helping. I'm not helping. No, we can't hear you. But then, like, we'll be up. And I'm like, you, you don't say anything. I don't say nothing. I'm like, all right, just hang on the lead, please. Hang on the lead, please. Hang on the lead. <laughs> Too emotionally invested in football. Oh my gosh! I was like that with the Mariners last year too, though. It was fun to see though. They'll do it again. They'll do it again. Go anyway, up. so. What are we talking about? So the NBA, right? Which NBA? We're going to talk about each team. Okay. And I yeah. want you to name one who's the all-time great of that team. And we're going to argue this. Yes, we are. We're going to argue the shit out of this. Start with the hard one. Go. Start with the hard one. Boston Celtics. Oh. You got to say Bill. Okay. I agree with you. But I like Larry. I know. I like Larry, too. <laughs> I'm still going to buy a Larry Bird jersey. I, I want one, too. I want one. I want one, too. But I still think that... Um, Green or white? Uh, white or are you gonna like alternate like like a black one <laughs> i'll get I a, want okay. the green I'll, I'll get a green bird and a white russell oh that's cool the white russell will be sweet right like the old like you can get like i like uh who's who makes those fucking jerseys Mitch, Mitch, mitchell and ness yeah no, mitchell and yeah, ness yeah, does yeah. a good job with all the vintage stuff. yeah they do they do a good job yeah so we're we'll agreement then boston we said we yeah. said we said russell. i thought you were gonna start with the lakers but go ahead we, lakers this is a tough one lakers my younger self wants to say Kobe. Like, I just want to say it. Right. And then I want to give it to him because obviously we know why. Correct. But at the same time, I'm like, hmm, Kareem. But, but who did it first? Kareem. No. Who you guys? Who Magic. You, Magic? Yeah. yeah. I know. Because only because Kareem was in Milwaukee. Lou Alcindor was in Milwaukee. Kareem was in LA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But I think Magic won five first before Kobe did. And I think Magic on that I, time I would, first. I could agree with that. Right? So I love Magic Johnson. That's the only reason why I would say Magic over Kobe. One of my favorite passes still to this day. Which one? Is when he throws it to uh, James Worthy. He looks. Like this? No, no. Not the, the oh, dish. Oh. But the one where he's at half court. Oh, okay. And he looks. He almost looks behind him and, and throws, throws it. And throws it. And he's perfect. And it's a highlight forever. Ever. And I'm like, how? Perfect. When I was a little kid, I was going. I yeah, mean, obviously I didn't see it live, but I saw tons of NBA rewind and right and all that shit. So, yeah, I'm, I gotta say Magic. Yeah, okay. So let's just stay. And that's it. No, let, I'm just kidding. Let's just stay in in the conference then. I mean division. Oh, Sacramento. Let me mix it up. Sacramento. Can I say Mitch Richmond? I'm just kidding. You can. I'm just kidding. I mean, I think, I, I think, I he's, the all, I think he's the all time leading scorer, isn't he? He might for Sacramento or yeah. mm, I almost said Warriors. No, he spent majority of his career in Warrior in the Warriors, didn't he? Was he Warriors first and then Sacramento? Or was Sacramento because he was wasn't West Unslug? He, he, he was sell, he was run West T- Unslug, oh, he was run TMC with, in Golden State. Yeah, but how long was that for? I thought he was Kings and then Golden. Mm. I don't know. That's a good call. I don't remember how long they were together. 
I'm going to say, I'm gonna say Chris Webber. Peja Stoyakovic. Peja. Don't do that face. <laughs> Chris Webber's a Hall of Famer. Is Peja not? No. Chris Webber's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll go with Chris Webber. Okay. I love C Webb. I know, I love C Webb. Shout out C Webb. Phoenix Suns. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. My, my, my vote is going to surprise you. Don't say Larry Nance. <laughs> Tom Chambers. Nope. No, that, that's who I would say. This is the best Phoenix Sun, right? Steve Nash. Two time MVP. Unfortunately. We could argue that forever. We still will. I like the Steve Nash pick. I was going to say, I was trying to go back. I thought maybe you go further back. That's why I said Larry Nance. No. <laughs> no, I think. But Tom Chambers is a huge deal here. Oh, he is. You could say Dan Marley. You could. But he was like a, he's more of a, is he like a character? You could say, is Charles Barkley one of the best sons ever? He, is he one, won his he, MVP He's here. one of the best sons ever, but he ain't played long enough here. What, it, five years? Five or four, yeah. Traded in 1991, right? No, 92. He came here in 91, 92, and then he got traded to Houston in 90. No, 97. Because Mike, Mike had just came back. Right. So, right? no, he, he didn't no, win championship with them. No, 99, because he didn't win championship with, with Houston. No, that's right. No, because they won it in 94, No, 94, 95. So he was 97 then. Yeah, 97. Yeah. So. We're probably still wrong. Probably. Keep going. Um, Golden State. Is it Curry? It's going to be Curry. Right. It, you're watching it. R- live right now. I mean, you can say Robert Parrish. No. No. It's Curry. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be Curry. Done there. <laughs> Clippers. That's a tough one. Because I don't know. So many people have been in and out of there. Right. Danny Manning. He has to be the longest tenure there, right? Where, what college you go to? Kansas. You hate. Oh, I was gonna say if you weren't gonna say it, I was gonna say you hate. <laughs> your hint was you hate them. <laughs> yeah. I hate that you hate that I picked Kansas. Ah, and we didn't watch Kansas lose yesterday because it's back to back. They're not gonna win back to back championships. You never know. They, I, I know. Nobody said that about Florida. They did it. I did. With Yoakum Noah. I did. They had everybody returning. Don't act. They had stop. Every, they had Don't every, do that. They had everybody returning. I no. said they potentially can go back to back. No. Who'd you tell that to? people you don't know exactly she goes to another <laughs> school another school <laughs> um yeah okay whatever um dead lakers okay Memphis, memphis is memphis vancouver because they're the same franchise brian raves bro no nah, big, big country you say you say sharif abdul rahim oh that's a good one i forgot, yeah. I forgot about him how you forget about him i don't know why i just forgot about him he's stud he's just young young franchise yeah that is true that's a still a young jaw was on his, his could be on his way though but I don't know where all this legal stuff. Uh, Dallas Mavericks. I mean, you could say Zach Randolph. I don't know how long he played there for. A long time. No. I no. He was there for like ten years. No. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, obviously Dallas Mavericks is Dirk and Whiskey, right? Dirk. Okay. Moving on. New Orleans. So are we, are we gonna go New Orleans Pelicans? Because yeah, we have to. Are go. we going the Hornets? Then no, we say Chris Paul. Because Hornets is a new team. It's their own team now. No, Charlotte Hornets are their own thing. Yeah. We say Lonzo Morning. No, we're Larry not, Johnson. We're, we're talking about New Orleans Pel- Pelicans. I the I Pelicans. Know. Okay, they're too young. So Brandon Ingram, right? I mean, that's that's the best player they have. Zion's not there yet. No, he's not proven. You, you can't come in for ten games and then leave for fifty. I'll say Anthony Davis. Oh yeah, shit. He was very good there. Yeah, I'm gonna say Anthony, yeah, Davis. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. Okay. That's the only thing I'm giving him. <laughs> he's he's Samuel Jackson on Unbreakable. Yeah, <laughs> just, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> San Antonio Spurs, Tim Duncan. Uh, you got to say Tim. Oh, David Robinson. Timmy D. Oh, he won more, more MVPs. That's true. That's Tim, true. Robinson, uh, Robinson, Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson. He only won one MVP, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was the that was the, when him and Shaq were doing the, uh, they were trying to get point yeah. score, the yep. point deal. And, and Rob, Shaq got 48 and, and Robinson, Robinson got, got 71. 71. To be, <laughs> to be, cool. Being like point eight points or whatever. But the, the fucking Spurs are playing the Clippers that's, then. But that's what you do, though. That's competitiveness, you know? <laughs> no, I get it. Um, Houston Rockets. Still playing the Clippers. I know back then. Yeah, Hakeem. Hakeem. That right? Hakeem. Anybody else? No. You can't say Clyde, right? No. Because that's the best trailblazer. Well, we'll get to it. <laughs> Denver Nuggets. Ooh. You want to say Carmelo? Or do you want to say Chris Jackson, aka Mahmoud Abdul Roof? I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, um a- Alex English. Alex English. Alex English is still Alex leading score for them, right? Yeah. I'm going to say Alex English for now, but it potentially it could be du- the Jokic. Joker. The it Joker. Could be Jokic. But for right now, I'm going to go Alex English. Hold on, real quick. We were talking about racism a minute ago. Yeah, 30 yeah. minutes ago. What's with Kendrick Perkins saying that. Stat, stat padding? That, no, no, not that part, but he's saying that 
MVPs now are one with white privilege. I'm like, these Europeans are now have the white privilege. What are we talking about? Yeah. Is that real a thing? Is that a really well, is that really a he, thing? He, he, he just saying there's been there's been other guys. Yeah, go ahead and defend this because no, I don't no, I don't, not, I don't de- like it. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying because it doesn't have to be a thing. But he brought it like it is a thing. Well, he's saying, um, and that bothers me because well, nobody thinks like that. Well, think. Well, hey, majority of people don't think like that though. You'd be surprised. ESPN's whoa. Oh yeah, you'd be surprised. Um, like there, there, there's there's no nothing surprises me. There's just things that a certain race has done better or the same, but don't get the recognition like the yeah, white but person. All the MVPs are black, most of them. Most of them. But so, so what's the problem? So the NBA needs to change that image and have the white guy stand up top. But why? That's just what he's saying. But they don't need to. They, They're just giving it to the guy. They, the the nah, guy went back to back. So what are you I saying? But. Okay, but should he have? Okay, like should Nash have won back to back? Well, then Kobe or Shaq would have won it again. But Shaq won no. it prior to that. No, he didn't. Didn't Shaq win an MVP prior to Nash winning? Kobe won it. No, Shaq won in two thousand. That's prior to to Nash winning his. When did Nash win his? Two thousand one, two thousand two. No. Oh five, oh six, oh five, oh seven. That's that's what I just said. No, you Are you didn't. listening to you me? Two thousand one. I said Shaq won his prior to Nash. Yes, but that wasn't just that wasn't like right 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 before that though. That's the only point. Don't read into it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm just saying, like Perkins, what are we talking about? Why are you? Why bring up a thing that's not really a thing? Is it a thing? I don't know. I rely on you for this because I can't speak for both sides. I mean, <laughs> I can see both sides. I'm trying to always see it that I way. I can see both sides, but I don't. I. I the only thing I can compare it to is the Steve Nash thing. I don't know about the... the but this, that's so long ago. But the Jokic thing, I, I think the Jokic thing has been warranted. He's great. He's, 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 but, it's been so warranted. So who cares what what so, color this is? People if do. you're a hooper, that's what it is. Yeah. No, I agree if you're a hooper. Anyway, keep going. Okay. Sorry about that segment. Um, Minnesota Timberwolves, Garnett. Garnett for sure. Utah Jazz. Tom Gugliotta. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Googs was good. That's Houston though, isn't it? Uh, you could say Washington Bullets. Oh, yeah. Uh, jazz. Mm. Is it Carmelo or John Stockton? Oh. I'm, can we put Pete, can we, Pete, Pete Murphy didn't play long enough in Utah. No, but I mean, Pete was... Great college player. We're talking about the best player ever to play for the team, yes, right? Yes, yes. No matter the tenure or it has to have tenure too? I think it has to have tenure, right? So then Carmelo. Malone. Over John Stockton? John Stockton would never won MVP. Okay. You got Mark it? Carmelo won two of them, didn't he? Back to back. No, he went back. Did he went back to back? I don't think he went back to back. They went back to they went back to back finals. But I don't think he went back to. I back. thought he went back to no, but after the finals that they lost the fi- the, the the you know the last shot. I thought he won one in the right after that. I'm look it up. I don't know if he went back that, to back. Didn't he win in 1999? No, that was Timmy. Tim Duncan won it. Yeah. Oh, um, this is gonna be a good one. I don't remember. Carl Malone. How long have we been gone? 25 minutes plus. 25 minutes. We, did, we did 12 before. Yeah. We're almost there. Almost there. Um, Hurry. I'm trying. Audience is gone. Okay, okay. Everybody's leaving. Okay. <laughs> TV's up. People, get a snack, everybody. Awards. Okay, awards, awards, awards. Mm. Um, this is where our producer comes in. Yep. He's not here. He won the MVP. You saw me ask him. Okay, he won the MVP 96, 97. Okay. And 98, 99. He didn't win 97, 98. So every other. Only That's two, still pretty good. Two. Yeah, it's very good. Um, I do like his comment about, you know, he's like, Mike's a motherfucker, but I'm right. a motherfucker too. But did you hear about that shit about him fathering the kid at 13? See, I heard that when I was younger. So did I. But I didn't know. It's not as. And then, well, because his son, his son was in the league. It's not as a big deal back then as it is now right. all of a sudden. His son's in the NFL. Because everyone's about digging up skeletons. I think his son's in the NFL or being a prospect for the NFL. Something like that. Yeah. That is a weird, we're in a weird time period where we're seeing a lot of our our heroes are having their kids in the league now because it wasn't social media back then. I know. That, who um he would Randy he, Moss's kid is in the NFL now. He would have been out of the NBA if, if what he did then today, today for sure out of the NBA because nobody plays those games and in jail and probably in jail. Yeah, that's a weird one, right? Right. Um, Oklahoma City Thunder slash Seattle Sea Supersonics. No, because, you're not going to say slash. Yes, you are. We're not saying slash. Yes, because they're the same organization. No, they bought all the records from there. No, they didn't. Is it is. No, <laughs> you're not going to win this argument. <laughs> you don't want to acknowledge it. That's all. That's fine. But it's slash. <laughs> okay, my friend. There's no slash. Okay, we can do two separate teams. 
Oklahoma City Thunder. Is it Kevin Durant or Westbrook? It's Kevin Durant. He won his MVP. Ah, uh, they both won the MVP there. Yep. Kevin Durant. Westbrook been no longer. By default. Everyone keeps leaving. Yeah, he has more, more. Keeps getting left behind and then shows up again. Because he had a Supersonics. <laughs> Gary Payton. Mm. I got to say GP. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Well, hey, dude. It's not Sean Klump. I didn't say Sean Kemp. Depth of shrimp. Don't make fun of him. I'm just asking. He's a pacer before he that went to Seattle. That is a local hero, dude. He he's, went to he, Centralia High School. He's a pacer. And then he went to UW. He's a pacer before he was a Seattle Supersonic. So he so. was, hey, he's a product of the Northwest. Well, okay. So Gary Payton. And then Portland Trailblazers. I mean, you could say you could say Lenny Wilkins. Portland Trailblazers. You could say Lenny Wilkins. You could say that, but we didn't say that. Portland. I'm saying it. <laughs> no, you're not. Tom Chambers played for Seattle. What's up? Portland Trailblazers. Xavier McDaniel. <laughs> Shout out to X. Is it Clyde? Soon to be Damon. Damon Stoudemire? Lillard. Oh, Damian Lillard. You said Damon. So I, I was like, I did, oh. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> Damian Lillard. Soon to be, but right now is Clyde. I say Clyde right now. Yeah. Who else would it be? Bill Walton? Buck Williams. Now you're just saying, that's like me saying, is Jerome Kersey? Oh. Terry Porter. Terry Porter. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, East, East Coast. Boston, we said that already. Oh, we did all the West already? Yeah. Damn, dude. Boston, we said that already. Yeah. Philly. The best Philadelphia? Yeah. Moses Malone? You have to. Top scorer, right? I think so. If we're going to go like, you could say Julius Irving, but he was, that was ABA that was, 76ers. That was Nets. He was more Nets. And then. the Nets, so that's right. I think potentially. Charles Barkley? He didn't win an MVP there. No. Did Moses Malone win an MVP? I think, yes, he did. Okay. Let's go with that. Knicks. You win. This is a tough one. I know we were talking about this yesterday. Yeah, it's not tough. It is tough. No, it's not. not tough. How do you not? It's not tough. How do you? He's, he's been there for 15 years, and he's an alternating scorer, alternating rebound, alternating block shots, alternating field goal mates. He's, he's you win. Okay, you got it. Win. Thank you. I still like Nate Archibald. I know you do. <laughs> Brooklyn Nets, New Jersey Nets. Earl the Pearl, baby. Monroe. Who was the other guy that was out there that had a funny-ass nickname? Zeke from Cabin Creek. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. Brooklyn Nets, last New Jersey Nets. Dr. J? Yeah, let's say Dr. J. You can say, you say Draws and Petrovic? Or Jason no. Kidd? Kenyon Martin? No, okay, Dr. J. <laughs> just... Toronto Raptors. Vince Carter? It has to be Vince Carter. Or Tracy McGrady? It has to be Vince Carter. Who's more iconic? Vince Carter. Yeah, Tracy was, but but Tracy Tracy was really popular. No, but I mean, Tracy was like Tracy McGrady in Houston and Orlando. Like that was the guy. Don't okay. you wouldn't you say that? Right. Not not Marcus Camby or Damon Stoudemire. Okay. Hey, you get caught trying to steal push pot through a, <laughs> through with foil around it of one thing right. and try to go through TSA. <laughs> you're off my list. I don't care how good you are. Hey, there's dumb moves that just like oh my you just gosh. can't come back from. Can't come back from that. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about. When young guys. Young guys. Like John Morant. Like that's young a young guys. guy dumb move. You're yes, like it is. Foil? What? Really? I used to peel. I used to put pot in my fucking waistband and roll it, and yeah. then walk through. Right. Come get me, TSA. Milwaukee Bucks. Lou Alcindor. Has to be him for now. Right? And Giannis, then. And Giannis, yeah. Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James. LeBron James. Although, although you could say Craig Elo. Chicago Bulls. You didn't even respond to because it's not because that's not a thing. Mark Price. <laughs> that would be better than, than Brad Williams. Brad Doherty. You Doherty, mean. I mean. Sorry. Yeah. What a weird shift in uh, careers. Oh man. Huge NASCAR guy. NASCAR he's guy. a true North Carolina guy, though. Oh, true. That's where he's from. Oh, and, I, and I, he's, he's, he's NASCAR I'm, I'm all the I'm from the South. Way. I like all the South. I, Anything. That was surprising. Fried was, chicken, cars, but racing, But he does that so whiskey. well, too, though. I he, love it all. He does that NASCAR shit so well. No, he's great at it. I'm all, I, was, I was like, Brad Doherty, wow. That, he's been there for a long time, too. Yeah. And that one blew my mind. He got that thick-ass Southern ac- accent, too. I didn't know that one when I was a kid watching him play basketball. No, you don't ever hear him. We don't, he, doesn't, he doesn't get interviewed very much, so you don't really pay attention. Wasn't Brad Doherty the number one pick? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey, look it up. <laughs> okay. Chicago, we, we already know that one. Who? Um, Just Scottie say Pippen. it. No. <laughs> Everyone knows it's Phil Jackson. Oh. <laughs> Brad Doherty. Yeah, you're gonna. It's number one pick, right? Is that right? Tell me I'm right. Am I wrong? Um, he's a top three pick, top two pick. Wait, man. No, he's number one. I don't know. Hold on. Don't say you don't know. Just say Brad. A- Dur- Indiana, Indiana Pacers. What? 
Indiana Pacers. Who's the best Indiana Pacers? Oh, that was from Rick Smith's. Reggie Miller, Reggie of course, Miller, dude. Right, Come right, on. Okay. I, hey, it's Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, shit. You're right. Boom. 1986, number one pick. Told wow. you. Wow. My boy. Come up with some knowledge. Hey, hey. Damn. I'm telling you, dude. I, I'm <laughs> stunned. You impressed me, man. I'm, I'm stunned by that one. <laughs> That was that's awesome. That's going on the intro. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That's awesome. No, I like the intro because it like with the funny clips. Yeah. Like with the one where you're like, it's like, da, 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 da. like there's like a one and a half seconds of you just going. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I like that. Or we're like I'm standing up and you're laughing like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's De- no context to it, but that's what makes it funny. Detroit Pistons. Isaiah. Has to be Thomas. Did he get the shaft? Did he get the shit under the stick? Or is he that much of a prick that no one wanted to hang out with him? Even Mike was like, dude, I don't like that guy. Don't bring him around me. That I, story's weird. I know, man. I don't know. I we don't, don't know. Do we not know enough about it? Yeah, we don't know enough about it. Miami Heat. He got left off the dream team. Man. He's, he's still bitter about it. I will be too. And Mike goes, I don't give a shit. Nope. <laughs> Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade? What was Ooh. up? Uh, let's go Dwayne. He won an MVP there. MVP. <clears throat> He won finals and, MVP. And titles. 05 was a good year for those guys. Yeah. That was, I won, hey, I won 2,100 bucks. Good job. Yeah. Atlanta Hawks. Dominique. Lenny Wilkins. Has to be Lenny Wilkins, dude. I don't know, man. I like Dominique. I think Dominique. He was a high flying scorer, but he wasn't like the best guy on that team, I don't think. I don't think he was. I, think, I look at Lenny Wilkins more of a Seattle than I do in Atlanta. He won a title in Seattle. Shout out 1979. So that's just me. I look at more in Seattle than I do in Atlanta. But he played for a long time. He coached for a long time. Can you count him as a coach in this situation? I didn't. No, he was <laughs> players. I didn't. Hey, are we going to get a Charlotte Bobcats one or what? <laughs> okay, Charlotte Bobcats. I'm just kidding. Fuck. No, Charlotte, um, Washington Wizards slash Bullets. If I'm saying Bullets. Same organization. Just change the name. Do you want to say Rasheed Wallace? Or no, Wes I'm going to say Wes Unseld. Wes Unseld. Yep. Un- 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 Yes, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say West too. Okay, um, Orlando Magic, Shaq, or Penny, Shaq, Shaq. Did he win MVP in Orlando? He only played four years though. They both only played so many years. Yeah, Nick Anderson. Ooh, that's a good call. That was our first pick, right? Dennis Scott, first yeah. pick, right? Yeah, yeah. Dennis Scott. Dennis Scott was a good player for a long time too. Dwight Howard, maybe? Could Dwight Howard won? Let's defense. go, Dwight Howard. That's right? a great one. Dwight Howard. Did he win an MVP? For, no, he went defense, defense player of the year. Defense player of the year, like back to back. He did win MVP in the league though one year. I thought. I don't know. Producer. Producer. Charlotte Hornets. Is that Larry Johnson or is it? Uh, I'm Zoe? going Zo. I'm going Larry Johnson because you're a New York fan. Well, he's so. No, just say it. Well, I am. I like but, Larry because he's a New York guy. Well, I do like Larry, but I think he, he was, did win. Larry did win Rookie of the Year. Yes, Grandmama. Yes. Did you ever have Converse shoes? Not because of him. I had it because of um. I had the magic. his first shoe. I had it because of Magic. Well, do you, when you were a kid, everyone that's all they wore was Converse. That's true. In the se- in the seventies, you're so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Never MVP. But he won a lot of defensive play of the year. Yeah, he was number two. He was second place. He's a he was a monster. Just could, it just a little more aggression. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, We're done. Damn, pretty good. Really, no shot at Bobcats. <laughs> no, I didn't know who you who you pick. I don't know. Gerald Anderson. Gerald and hey oh um, Henderson, Henderson Gerald Henderson, Henderson that's who it was. Um, hey, so let's talk about something that you you like to talk about. Titties. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. Um, I don't think anybody listens to this. No. Um, the fight last night. Dude. Bye. Bye. Hey, that was, that that was, was kind of That's kinda a good. great promo. That was kind of good. That's a great promo, that right? That's kind of good. He called Francis Naganyu in his press conference. Oh, he did? He goes, all those muscles and a big ass pussy. Oh, I know that's that. That after the fight? So remember I was telling you, Francis Naganyu is like, monster, right? One of the hardest hitting dudes. He's beaten up everybody. He's lost. He's lost to Stipe, but then he knocked out Stipe. Stipe is one of the greatest of all time as heavyweights too. Now, if John Jones stays there for a while, which he could, he might end up being the guy. John Jones is the greatest MMA fighter in the world, like right now, hands down. You could say GSP. You could say Anderson Silva had a long reign. Anderson Silva was a monster too. You didn't want to fuck with any one of them, right? But John Jones, I know he's got his off, off, out of the ring stuff, which is way crazy. Some bad shit. 
not not good stuff. Like hiding from USADA underneath a ring for fifteen hours. Like, they're like, well, we'll wait for him to show up, and he was just hiding under a ring in that camp. Wow, because he knows what he was doing was illegal. Hmm. Or at least at that time, he knew he was going to piss hot, and he wanted to do that. Wow. That's the thing is, I'm I'm wishy washy on the whole thing. Like I love that guy as far as like his fighting in that in that ring. That's that's who you want to emulate if that's you want to be great at something. Outside, you're like, God damn it, kid, get it your shit together. Right. You know what I mean? He's John Morant. Yeah. I mean, He's older. Well, the other thing is, is not compare. Not I shouldn't even compare those two because what John's done is fucking way worse than what John just did. That's true. So I mean, like. Driving his Bentley with a fucking uh, a briefcase full of cash and cocaine to hit that pregnant lady. Oh man! I mean, they survived. UFC paid a lot of money out. They yeah. lost the Bentley they gave him. Yeah. <laughs> but he fled the scene. That's even worse. Also, why are you driving? I still don't get why people that why have are, they are in professional sports are get driving. A chauffeur. Do you remember Marshawn Lynch over the summer? Hey, th- that's what they did with this. They go, what? I didn't see nothing. Right. That shit's that video was everywhere. Nobody said nothing. Nope. But then you got Henry Ruggs, yep. who was speeding down, you know, outside 100 of mile, hundred mile an hour. That's Harmon Harmon Avenue, right yep. where we yeah. where we go, Planet Hollywood and that's Top the, Golf and all that's, that shit. That's where the Formula One's gonna be racing at. Yeah, racing. that's gonna be sick. That's a different. That's a. We'll talk about that another day. Yeah. Wish we had way more money. <laughs> <Seriously. laughs> That'd be so fun. Oh my gosh. But yeah, when it goes to John Jones, like that's the greatest of all time right now. Like that's the guy. I don't know about it like 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 you do, so I'm, he's, I'm I'm deferring to you. He's so good. I don't think the last two fights he had, like against Reyes and even Anthony Smith and stuff, I think those guys like that wasn't getting him pumped up to go fight these guys. When he was on a terror, like the scariest moment in MMA that I've seen, when you watch Leota Machida get uh-huh. choked out by John Jones, and Leota Machida was a killer, like legit Brazilian. I mean, he's like I think his background is karate, but he has like He's nasty. You know what I mean? He was knocking fools out. And then John Jones grabs him like a doll and just chokes him out. And next thing you know, you watch a guy who you just watched for a whole year smoke everybody in front of him, lay flat on the ground and look like he's dead. I mean, face first on the canvas. It was like, and then John Jones just walks around and like, and when they slow-mo, it's slow-mo that shit and they put it in like promos and stuff. I still, like right now talking about it, it gives me goosebumps. Mm. Crazy time. I know you don't watch MMA. I don't. But I'm 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 excited that you're excited. I'm pumped, you're pumped, man. You're like, woo, dude. Oh, we've been to these fights, man. Yeah, put that shit in my veins, bro. Damn. The uh, but yeah, the, when it comes to MMA, I I have not followed it lately, but I do know who's out there for the most part. So, you know. Oh, beer fairy, come on in, Miss Jamie. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you, beautiful. What we got here? The one, the one you like. You don't like. I like it. Oh, okay. I just didn't Thank you. didn't think I liked it. Yeah, let's, let's open. Salted. Baja Jack. Hey, I just did Baja Jack. <laughs> 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 what the you are way too pop. What do you have? We stayed up way too late last night. Yeah, you did. Time you end up going to, but you know I was. Well, I know. No, no, I, 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to know. So, um, yeah, you do. Switching gears a little bit. So, what, will you finish with your MMA? Get all hype. John Jones, greatest of all time. Let's go. Okay, the go. That was a cool promo, though. I love that one. That was yeah, that awesome. Was, that was sick. That was. Nice. He looks so good. He did. I know you don't really watch this stuff. Right, I don't. And I'm gonna remind you that you should. Okay. But I'm always gonna tell you. I know you don't really watch this stuff. Correct. What I was gonna say is yes. He ch- I knew he would take him down. He don't want to get hit by punches. So that's a smart move. Yeah, right? it's very smart. But that kid gave up his neck fast. And next thing he goes, ow. Okay, how much of that was actually John Jones and how much of that was actually him just like- No, no. John Jones is one of the greatest US, wrestlers. UFC just saying John Jones needs to win the title. No. So here's the thing. No, no, no. That no. John know. Jones and Cormier. I'll tell you this. Daniel Cormier, one of the greatest Olympic Olympic level wrestling, was on the Olympic team. I think I don't know which medal he won. I couldn't tell you. But he had two stints with the Olympic team. That's so hard. That's twelve people in the whole world, in the whole United States, but right. basically the world, if you, you want to count it that way. Correct. That can end up being like that. Cormier was is the highest high level of wrestling. I was in the arena when they fought the first time, mm-hmm. and when John Jones picked Cormier up in the fourth round and slammed his ass on the ground. I mean, I watched Cormier grab guys as big as you, if not bigger, and throw them around like a rag doll. No, I'm not kidding. 
I watched him pick up Dan Henderson, another Olympic wrestler, wow. and throw him around like a baby. I mean, it was like ch- he was chasing around like, like you chase your toddler around when you're wrestling with him. That's what it looked like. Wow. That's how good Daniel Cormier is. When John Jones picked his ass up and slammed him, the crowd went, oh. I mean, it was a hush. Like They were like, and even Cormier still says, he goes, he's way stronger than he looks, and he is a very good wrestler. For a guy at that level that doesn't even like that guy can say that, that's how good John Jones is. So when he choked out Cyril Gaon, yeah, it was yeah. all John Jones. Okay. You watched him keep him there. Oh, I know. No, no, I know that because I did it to you. You scared me when you jumped me back. Like I was like, oh, God. I was in the fight or flight mode. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's got me. I didn't know what to do. Everyone's watching. I'm like, do I squirm out of this or I just, just let it happen? I'd be terrible in jail. Ah. Me too. <laughs> ah, don't hurt me. I'll do what you want. Oh, so that was that was Saturday with the, you know, all the college basketball games and the, and the fight. Also, you know what was Saturday was um, the NFL Combine. Hey, how good is Anthony Richardson right now? Dude, his stock. I was watching his risen. highlights this morning because I wanted to talk to you about this. <laughs> <laughs> his stock. Yeah, that's right. Adjust. Get ready. His Here stock, we go. His stock has r- risen or rise. 6'5". 6'5". 240. That's, ran, lo- ran hey, a four, that's three inches shorter than LeBron James. Ran a 4'4'40". 4'4'6". Vertical jump leap with a with record. With a record. 40 and a half. Mm-hmm. 40 and three quarter. And he zipped the ball like. Five inches higher than Cam Newton. And he zipped the ball like. like the quarterbacks haven't done that in, in, in years. He, well, could he go number one? He, yeah. But they say Stroud was doing really well, too. Yeah, Stroud was doing very well. And I, and I think Stroud, because Stroud is more What's proven. What's with... Okay, keep going, sorry. I think Stroud, Stroud is more proven. I think Stroud would get number one pick over him. I think Anthony Richardson, because he only played 13 games. Mm-hmm. So I think he's still a project, but his skill set is there. You can raw. see it. It's raw. Raw. And you I know? think a lot of guys like that. Like that. Put him behind somebody so for I'm a think, year I'm and then he's let going, him come in. Hey, he's, he's going to Seattle. Oh, yeah. Well, you heard John Snyder say it. He said, they were like, well, what are you going to do with your pick? Are you going to go defense? He goes, quarterbacks don't grow on trees, guys. Yeah. He's, he, they're going, because, yeah, they're going. I got to put my trust in these, in Snyder and Carroll. Like, they, I think they know what they're doing. At least, just look at the whole thing as a whole since they've both been there. Right. But what were you going to say? Who happened to who? Oh, Bryce Young. Why is he not throwing? He waiting for his pro day. So? A lot of guys. You know who threw that was actually looking good, too? It was Stetson. Yes. Yeah. He has a great deep ball. Dude, also, I didn't know he was that fast. A 4 6? Yeah. That dude, that That's, white boy's fast. I, mean, fast. <laughs> I didn't know Will Levis was that huge. Yeah. Le- he I didn't know he was that steroids. big. The, the kid from Kentucky? Yeah. Dude, he is huge. I loved what he said, though. He's like, like they're what, like, why are you throwing? He goes, because I got a I cannon. cannon. I want to show it off. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and he yeah. does. And he does. That confidence, man. I love it. That, I like that part, though. Like, if yeah. a kid can come in, I'm like, I'm getting, hey, whether I go one, or, or 21. Or 20. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. That's what you need in the NFL. Exactly. You have to have confidence because you got, you got 10 Ray Lewis's chasing you exactly. all day. Exactly. You know and, I mean? and that tight end with the one hand catch oh, from Georgia. 6'5. Uh, uh, he's from Georgia. 6'6. No, six, six. Six, six, I five. wrote it down too. You did. His name is um, Darnell Washington. Darnell Washington. That was an overthrown ball and he snacked it. Snacked Just, it. <laughs> his, his stock went to first round. That's what I think. He could be a first round tight end. Yeah. Was it Kyle Pitts last year, first round? Yeah, number yeah. four. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I could see him being. I could see him being see, top Chicago's fifteen. Chicago's going to trade out of that first pick. They should. They draft they, capital. They should. Chicago draft. Get out of that. And so whoever they trade, you take advantage. Whoever. So some and someone we don't know about that's talking about is is the team that's going to move up though. There's, there's there's a team. It's not like Houston, not the Jets. It's a team that we don't know. That's it gonna, always happens, right? That's, that's going to snag that number one pick. Some yeah. like like the Jets, like Carolina or Seattle will grab that number one pick. Just make a swap, mm-hmm. and then they go. Well, Seattle, no, Seattle, goes, and Seattle, Seattle goes. Probably, hey, we'll give you our second. Seattle will probably give up the first two first round picks if they want. If they really want the number one pick, they have to give up two first round. picks. But then who do they take? Stroud, the quarterback. Yeah, you take Stroud. Stroud or Richard Anderson. I think it depends. Well, so I so I read this morning with the Geno Smith thing. Like they're working on a long term deal. Yeah. But then they also say in the article. If they can't reach it by this date, then he's going to test free agency. Well, Tuesday. Because oh. Tuesday is a franchise tag um, thing date. So if, I don't think they were talking about using that, so that for him. If, not, if it's not franchise tag, then it's going to be the 15th because that's when his free agency starts. Mm. So you have to get it. So it's either going to be the 7th, which is Tuesday, yeah. or the following is Tuesday, which is 14th, because the following Wednesday, his free agency starts at that's midnight. That's right. That's right. So if, oh, if, it's going to be wild. It's not going to tag him. 
They're not going to tag him. They don't. They don't use the franchise tag. Then, then he's going to test free agency. I think they've used it once. The Ravens were talking about they're going. To, they're going to tag Lamar, but they're going to give him the non-exclusive tag. That's right. I read that this morning too. Because they want him to go out. Because and I think this is more of, of a respect thing, not a I don't respect you. I want you to go out there and see what can you get on the open market, and then we'll match it. Oof. Because if you don't like our offer. And you think you can get more in the open market if it's with? That's a good way to play it. You know, if it's within our limits, it's within our grasp. Okay, we'll match it. If well, not, then the other other team has to know there's a possibility that we don't, the Ravens don't match it. Therefore, you're automatically giving up two first round picks. Automatically. Automatically. That's what it says. Automatically, right? So you're automatically giving two first round picks. Who is that that was do, would do that? A lot of teams would. A lot of teams. Washington Commanders. Yeah. The Redskins would give up. Commanders. The Redskins, mm-hmm. as long as Snyder's there, they're the Redskins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, seriously though, but like the five hundred million dollar, but, but, but guaranteed. But if see, if, 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 sorry, it was three hundred million. If 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 did if you give me false? Did no, you give me, no, three hundred million guaranteed. Excuse, me, excuse, excuse me, me, fake news. Fake news. Three hundred million. You are fake news. Three hundred million fully guaranteed, but five hundred million total of the contract. Jesus. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Now, okay, now the Commanders will ruin it. All right. Then everyone will get paid. All the quarterbacks get paid, and no think, one gets paid. What do you think Snyder wants to do on the way out? Give all the money away. Fuck you. See ya. Right. Yeah, I think he's like he's got like nine lives. I think he's on number six. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, in Seattle, I mean, if you if you're gonna give up two first round pick to go to number one, why not get two first first round pick and sign a proven? They're number guy? five, right? The number five, s- five and twelve, five and twenty, five and twenty. So why would you not give a two first round pick to the Ravens if you want Lamar Jackson, who's already proven? Oh my God! How, Don't give I me would hate up. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "Hey, we're we going to Baltimore to watch my favorite Raven play." Oh my God! <laughs> 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 but, but you know what I'm saying? No, if you're gonna hey, give, a, if you're gonna give up two first round picks for real, that happens, and I come over here. You're not. What's welcome. the first thing you're gonna say to me? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> liar. Be nice. No. Be not. nice. I'm gonna give you a big old hug. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry. You're gonna have uh, Anthony Richardson. You're gonna have Zach. 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 What's his name from the Jets? Remember, I showed oh, you. Oh, Zach Wilson. Him. Zach Wilson. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll have, we'll have a rookie quarterback on a yeah. rookie, rookie deal. That's sad. He yeah, should be a Raven. Long term. I think he'll stay. It's like Aaron Rodgers trying to leave for Green Green Bay. He's not. He's not. Too much money is involved. Yeah, way too much. Unless, unless he's dead set on winning a Super Bowl. Here's the thing. Like that, dead here, here's the thing that I can see. There is a mutual verbal. What time is it? Sorry, eleven forty. We'll wrap it up soon. Oh my god! Yeah, I gotta get out of here soon. Five if, minutes. If there's a mutual agreement mm-hmm. with, let's just say the Raiders. Yeah. Okay. That we will trade him to you after June first. Yeah. So it helps us with our cap. And I can see that and you still get your quarterback. So during that mutual agreement, they've already given Rodgers the playbook. He's just studying it on, on the way until June 1st to go step in the door in Oakland. I can see that happening. So like, like something like that could happen. Well, we'll keep him on our books up until – because June 1st is the, the day that they want to get rid of him. Yeah, for sure. So I can see that happen. They still have a hard ha- cap hit, oh, though. I know. But it's less than now, though. Is the cap hit worth the headache? No. I mean – I, I mean, are, is the uh, headache relief worth the cap Yes. Hit? With that guy, <laughs> but also it's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, but you, you know if let's listen, you have it right one, now, right now. Lamar, you have a, you Lamar have a, leaves mm-hmm. and Aaron Rodgers available. Are you like you better go get him? No, no, don't say that because you know you'd rather have Rodgers. No, out of all starting quarterbacks right now, what's available? And you're telling me if Lamar doesn't stay a Raven, you're saying you wouldn't rather have Aaron Rodgers over anybody else? Derek Carr. I don't want Aaron, Aaron Marcus Mariota. I don't want Aaron Rodgers' headaches. Matt I, Stafford. I, I really don't. Lamar's a headache. No, he's not a headache. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> like Rodgers is all about me. Lamar is not about That's me. That's every NFL player, dude. No, to, a, to an extent. Imagine Rodgers in that purple, though. It looked nice. Going to Mark Andrews. Look pretty good. Hey, and that will draw attention to wide receivers. Yeah. There's some receivers that are going to be good this year, man. Yeah. There's some I'm, good I'm ones. curious to see where D-Hop goes. He should be a Raven. I think so. I would say Seattle, but we don't need him. Right. Right. Do, would it be great? Yeah, yeah but, but then you have three that are like, what are you, you going to do? You don't need, yeah. No, I, it I, opens I, up the run game, that's for sure. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're stacked like that with Lockett, Metcalf, and D-Hop. Oh, my God. How dangerous would that be? And then you draft a tight end. 
That's we get that oh, oh. that kid from Georgia. Like second round, third round. We ha- our t- tight end room is huge, but we I think we could go tight end like second or third pick. Yeah, we I honestly think we need to go defense one hundred percent. But I get the point that we need a quarterback too because if Geno leaves or Geno's only there for two years, what are you going to do for the future? And this is probably your best chance to get the quarterback. And Pete has four years maybe. And this is your best chance to get that quarterback because of a high pick. Yeah, you know, like like. You're not going. You got to turn the trade. You're not going. You got to turn the trade. You're in. not going to get the high, top five pick next year. No, or in the following year because we're going to be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sunday fun day. <laughs> two bears, two mics. It's Nate. It's Miller, and we out. You come on, baby. <laughs>